Hey, happy Friday. I wanted to just say hi. This is a, it's been a tough week for lots of us for many reasons, especially if you live in Canada. And whether um, kind of the political issues in our larger cultural space um, has been distracting or not, I want to just acknowledge the depth of um, intensity that we're each feeling and this is coming out through this culture of urgency that we're all experiencing but also something that I don't think is named enough and that's existential dread and I feel like that's really important to name because that's layered um, maybe it's a bedrock maybe it feels like a heavy blanket whether it's conscious to you or not but the sense of kind of imminent threat or a kind of a constant subtle threat to our nervous systems, to our safety, our security, um, with climate change, heat domes, fires, like that's in the back of our minds all the time. Um, in addition to the, the navigating the stress of the pandemic that continues. So I just wanted to reach out and say, hey, if you're feeling any of this this week, you are not alone. And I want to encourage you to just take some time over the next few days and renew your nervous system, whatever that looks like. It could be permission to rest, permission to leave the house messy, permission to say no to friends if you feel like you just need alone time, or maybe you need community and you need to reach out. And so that can be um, really important too if you feel like, oh, I just want to turtle in. Um, even though something deep down knows that you would benefit from some community time. And one thing I want to just highlight is the power of the practice of self-compassion. And I offered this to um, somebody this week and it comes from Kristen Neff's work, Fierce Self-Compassion. And what I love about Kristen Neff's points about compassion is that we often think it's kind of this soft skill that we're um, just relaxing into, oh, like I, I feel empathy, I feel kindness, and I'm accepting of all things. And um, while in some case um, it can feel like a softer skill, compassion also has a fierce quality to it. And I feel like that's what's called for in this moment is our fierce compassion, both for whatever we're feeling. So whether you're feeling total rage, whether you're feeling depressed, whether you're feeling complete overwhelm, get curious about how you can bring fierce self-compassion to how you're feeling and to how you're responding to what's unfolding right now in your life. Because when we can bring fierce self-compassion, it is because of a deep, strong love and care for not only yourself and well-being, but for others. So it comes from this deeply dedicated place that has a strength and stability and power to it. And it's soft. There is a softness. There is a love and compassion that can also extend from you to all beings, to all things, even when it's super hard to accept. And the practice of fierce self-compassion can be a beautiful starting place for um, a wider practice of accepting um, what's unfolding. So if you're curious about um, fierce self-compassion, you can check out Kristen Neff's work online and also just see what happens if you can bring some un, uh, dedicated self-compassion to yourself this weekend for whatever you're feeling and however your body is responding. So with that, have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you soon.